Hi, I'm Josh Raposa, Director of Technology here at Lean Enterprise Institute. I'm here today to talk about our new um, A3 app for the iPad and Android tablet um, device. So, what we decided was to build the A3 app, also known as the A3 Creator. Um, this originally started from a conversation that John Shook and I had had about um, being able to take advantage of the mobility of tablets. Uh, tablets are really uh, proliferating, they're, they're, they're showing up everywhere and they're becoming a very, very useful tool. Um, so we wanted to take advantage of how can we make A3s easier to create at the Gemba, easier to share. Um, uh, granted, uh, most, I can't say, well, maybe not most, but quite a few of us like prefer uh, an 11 by 17 piece of paper and a pencil. Um, um, one of them. Uh, but, you know, and I usually take that piece of paper and then basically rework and, and I put it on and make it electronic. I do it in Word or sometimes do it in PowerPoint. So I'm creating this rework and it, it's not an ideal situation. So John came to me with, the, you know, we're talking about A3s and, and he, he came to me with this piece of paper, you know, kind of a template that he uses when he's doing an A3. And it just kind of clicked between both of us that, you know, this makes all the sense in the world. Let's do it on a tablet. You can actually be able, you would be able to create um, an A3 at your Gemba, uh, Gemba being where the work is done. So you can actually go to where the problem is if you're trying to solve a problem with an A3 and document the problem right there. You're no longer looking, taking notes, running back to your office and typing it up if you're a person that likes to type. Um, and, it, you know, it, it just eliminates some rework. So, you know, we tried different things. Um, I personally prefer to use this with a stylus, um, iPad stylus, Android tablet styluses, they're all out there. They're, you can be, find them anywhere that sells this type of thing, except for maybe an Apple store. Um, so that led to here, the A3 creator. So basically, it's an A3. Um, this is the initial home screen. You come in, you click the button, you know, choose a template. There's two versions of this. There'll be a light version, which will only include one template, and then a full version, which includes multiple templates. And we'll be adding templates as we go along. Um, in this case, we're just going to do you know, a problem-solving template. So here we are with the start of an A3. Um, it's just the basic framework right now, boxes for each one. Um, you know, you click in there, you can type in your name. Um, my name's Josh, I'm just going to type that in there. Um, then come on over, oops. I put Josh in the title, but that's all right. It'll both be Josh. Uh, this will be Josh A3. Um, all right, so names are in there. Now we're going to start off with the first box. Uh, first box being our background box. Background box, you know, and it, 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 how to do it is basically how do you like to do your A3s? Are you a person that likes to type everything? Are you a person that likes to draw things? Um, are you a person that likes to put photos in? Um, we'll show you how to do everything right now. So for now, we'll start off with pretty basic. Um, you come in and you touch the typing. Um, you know, you can just type whatever you want um, in there. And you hit save when you're done. And it shows up in the box. Nothing surprising there, no magic. Um, but you can go a little further and you can actually take, uh, you know, you, for those of us who like to draw, you can use finger, um, you can come in, you know, select a different color, you know, draw within there, you can draw graphs, you can actually import graphs, we'll get to that later. Um, and then when you're done, you just save it and that shows in the box. Um, and there's writing and there's drawing, but if you want to take even further, you can actually import graphics in here. Um, just you know, put it onto your clipboard, um, you know, onto your uh, camera roll, and, and, and get it from there. Or even better, take a picture. Imagine you're at your Gemba, you see a problem, you take a picture of it right there, it shows up in your A3. So pictures are really, really easy. You just touch a little picture of a photo, so, you know, from your library or you know, from camera. All right, and you get your little camera widget here. I'm just gonna take a picture of that back wall. All right, as you can see now, though, I'm going to say yes, use. So now, it's in here as well. So all of your data is in, um, let's say, for now. You can always revisit it. You can come back to this, you know, 100 times over and redo it over and over and over again. Um, but now that it's all in there, let's range it. Let's make it a little uh, more presentable to, to, to the audience. So you can come right in and, you know, you hit the arrange button. Uh, with the arrange button comes in, you can, uh, you know, you can reduce the size of the photos, you can move them around, um, you know, put one on top of the other, you know, you can move your text around below it. Um, in this case, I'm going to move this stuff up here, I'm going to move this over to here, all right, and then I'm going to hit save, and then now you've rearranged your box and your A3 to be the way you want. Now, a lot of A3 is collaboration. Doing an A3 by yourself is not always advisable. I mean, sometimes you have to. Um, 
But the great thing about A threes is not the actual result. It's the more of the the fact finding, the interaction, the talking you're doing with your group as you're creating it. You want to get out and get the real facts from the people who are dealing with it. You you know, so you, it eliminates assumptions. So the communication that goes back and forth is pretty important, and that's why we try to make this as uh, uh, collaborative as possible. So. Um, and part of collaboration is being able to share. Um, so really with the touch of a button, you can email this out, uh, your final A3 or whatever, however far you've gotten on your A3 to your colleagues. It brings up a little interface, you know, all of the emails that you have in your contacts. You can add email addresses there and be able to email this out. Very, very simple to do. Um, another great feature is coaching. Um, we have an advantage here at LEI that you know we have John Shook coming in and out of here every day uh, for several, several, several hours. Um, and we're able to get him to come in and really kind of walk you through each box. What to think about when you're doing a background box. What to think about when you're looking at countermeasures or, or, or building a plan or follow-up. Things like that. So each box has a, a tips and coaching section. Um, and you get to that just by touching the camera button. Um, in about a minute, you'll have John Shook pop up here, and he'll go through and walk you through a, a video of what to think about when doing a background box. Um, great, great advice. I really recommend you take advantage of it. Um, we also have tips on here to think about as well, so it's not all video driven, um, but it's it, it's it's a it's a great resource. Um, you know, and we, a lot of the tips have come from not just John Shook but other experts in the field. Um, it's been a it's really uh, an excellent advantage that. I, it kind of puts this in, in its own place. So I'm not going to trouble you. We'll put with, with watching the video. We'll put those up, uh, a couple of samples here and there on this page. Um, but for now, um, that's how this one works. Uh, another advantage of this app is, as far as coaching goes, um, is that you can actually take this A3 and with a touch of a button send it off to the A3 Dojo on Lean.org. So you finish your A3 or you're halfway through an A3 or you have a problem on your A3 and you want advice from one of our A3 senseis um, that, that watch everything that goes on in the dojo and offer advice. You can actually get advice from other people in the community. You can go into the dojo and offer other people advice um, or just read the latest A3 column. It's all there um, and you can access it all from the app as well. Um, it's a free service. I do really recommend you take advantage of it um, and, and you know, this, the way things are. So now that we've got this started, you know, we'll save it, um, and it's saving right now, and it, you know, it's successfully saved, and it's going to bring us back to, to this. Um, so let's go back to the uh, to the home page. So what you can do later is actually you can open up an existing A3. So we just saved one. We can go back in and get to it again. We can open up an older A3. All of your A3s are stored right here on your iPad. Um, you can even have a short menu down here to access ones that you've already created, the most recent ones. Um, like I mentioned, you can read the latest A3 Dojo column right on here. It tracks how your A3 um, is doing in the Dojo. It shows you, you know, how many follow threads you're following other people's threads, how many um, posts uh, you have out there, how many people have made comments on your A3. Um, it's really a great tool and I highly recommend it. It's your able, it gives you the power to you know, do an A3 at your Gemba neatly. It's portable. It's right here on your iPad. Um, it's easy to share. It's easy to get advice. Uh, really, truly recommend it. Give it a shot. Um, love to hear your feedback on it. Apps at lean.org. Once again, apps, A-P-P-S, at lean.org. Uh, we watch it. We get back to everybody. Um, if there's a template you think we need that should be on here, send it to us. We'll get it in there, maybe. Can't guarantee it, but we'll definitely try. Um, and we're going to be improving this as we go along. Um, we really am not, we're not going to put this out there and forget about it. This is going to be a really great tool for everybody. Uh, so thank you very much for your time. I'm Josh Raposa here at the Lean Enterprise Institute. Have a great day.